How's it going everyone? Welcome to another League of Legends video where we are playing Soraka support. We're doing AP Soraka once again, but this time we're going to be doing Crown of the Shattered Queen I as our mythic aid. this game. Our uh, reason why is because I am afraid of the Shaco and the Pantheon in the enemy team. They have a lot of bursts, a lot of uh, assassin engage, and also we don't have much crowd control on our team. Minions so if they run at me or Twitch, I want to be able to protect myself and I don't want to go lock it because Locket isn't the best Soraka item excepting for uh, defensive, and we're going AP anyway, so why would we go uh, Locket? Um, Echoes of Helia could have been a good item as well, but I don't like that item. I just feel like Sh uh, Crown of the Shattered Queen is going to be the best defensive item that we're going to be building this game. We can build that, and then go a little tankier. I'm thinking um, we could go with... What is that slow item called? Rylize. Rylize, because we're going to actually, instead of maxing our Q, we're going to max our E for more damage and higher crowd control, because we have a uh, increased root duration. It goes from 1 at level 1 to 2 seconds at level 5. So let's continue poking them here. I trade better because I heal, obviously, as we amazing Soraka players know. But they're going to get level 2 first because we're playing with a Twitch. We're going to get a point E. I'm going to block off Caitlyn here. Make her have a hard time stepping up. If he's not learned yet, you better potion up. You got greedy. Time heals all wounds. We got the flash from Caitlyn though. It's a good question. Why no W? But also, why do you take so much damage? When you are the weaker laner level one, level two. I mean, it is a little bit troll, and I'm sure a lot of us could argue, oh, I mean, you should be getting uh, W level 2, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to bother taking that damage. I'll just heal you and back. I'd rather prevent a kill and use flash, but that's just me. I heed their call. I was standing aggro against them anyway, and the Twitch was stuck in their lane farming, so... I did want to give him a little bit of uh, solo XP, because I was going to back him anyway. Ally has been slain. Did the Shaker just steal that? Nice. That should be a uh, living meteor anyway, right? Ooh, big. Good job, top side. Drop a ward here so we can see the Shaco wants to come up the wall. We do have a control ward. Get a heal. Ah, they missed cannon. Oh. Jake was probably bout side here. Alright, so my ward wasn't detected at least. I really need a juke left or right whenever that ability comes in. I did say I was going to max E, but I ended up putting a second point in Q. But it's fine. We need a little bit more self-heal. What are you pinging me for? The whole world in A 
push in here. Jake goes mid. Where am I needed? Nice, nice. I mean, Twitch, your positioning is your own fault. Gracefully. Oh, great. I'm just going to stay here and collect the experience. An enemy has been slain. Got a second point in our E. Give you a heal. And since they're so far range too, using, uh, getting higher points in E is very good too, because you'll be able to poke from afar while doing more damage. I think they backed up, unless they're doing dragon. Yeah, they're doing dragon. Drop a ward in that bush, and we'll just back out here. All right, there's our lost chapter, and we get a control ward as well. Now we have more mana. Almost back in lane. This is definitely going to be a Merc Treads game. I actually was doing this build um, the previous game a few minutes ago, but we lost in a very, very poor loss as well. Um, nothing that I wanted to upload. Though, like, I like uploading losses if they're... Fun matches? Excuse me about that. I didn't sleep too well last night. But if they're fun matches, um, then great, I'll upload it. But I had a team that wasn't healing for me and taking care of me as much as I was trying to take care of them. And I was getting a little frustrated, so I'm sure you all can understand. Ah, uh, I was thinking she was walking forward some more. This is my I don't do that much damage yet, but we're getting there. They have an Infernal Drake, that means they have 5% attack damage and ability power bonus. So... We're probably still not going to be winning this lane down here. We'll just need to worry about Udyr and Fiora carrying us for the time being. Where am I needed? Christ. At least it was just him and not both of us. Maybe what I'll do next time is um, silence the Caitlyn ult. But I wasn't expecting him to get full combo there. I'll just keep hitting the wave, whittle it down. Another point in our E. So now it's cooldown is going down to 15.65 seconds. I want to go put a ward down. Safe position. An ally has been slain. I heed their call. Since they backed up, we have time to go and drop a ward. It goes topside. 
There's a ward here. I'll let those two collect it. I don't need that much gold, especially the crown is... Um, crown is an item that is cheaper than the, regu the regular mage mythics. Do you want to fight this? All right, well, we forced Pantheon all. I should have let him die. It is what it is. I don't know why Udyr comes down here and then doesn't hover. This is my path. You're wasting my time, Twitch. It's always it's always my ADCs as well. Like I had a really really good team last game, like mid game, but my ADC in the um laning phase is just so passive. We they were uh, playing an Anivia support. And they were the Anivia was a one trick. So they were doing really well. Three. An enemy has been slain. I'll take it. Oh, to completing our crown. There's 465 gold. Away. If I ulted sooner, Zed might have lived and that fight would have been better, but I feel bad I didn't get to save that there. Top lane's doing fine. One uh, kill up on the Cho'Gath and a little bit of farm up. Cho'Gath does, does really well at farming. Rice. I think I can stay here in lane. Take a bot side. I heed their that was a bad play. I should have just backed. He was just waiting for me to go in a bush and check that. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta give up the objective. Which is the turret in that case. I think I'll just move around with my jungler at this point. Dick is just gonna TP out in just a second. I do have my ultimate to help out my team. Your team has destroyed I'll drop a control ward here to help Twitch when he comes back. But I'm gonna move around with my team. Oh, I do have my crown, so let me put down some wards and go get the crown.
And then if we position ourselves correctly, we can just throw a lot of ease. Be able to move away from the enemy team. You gonna get jumped by Pantheon? Like again? Or Pantheon just gonna back here. Fiora's fighting Shogas top. I'm not sure if, he, if they win. Oh, it's Caitlyn there, right? Unfortunately, have to use my ultimate again for this Twitch. This guy's gonna move around my team, but I figured since I saw Pantheon still down there, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh my god. Tree's wondering how he lived. To heal and protect. It's just really not a good start, but our team fights are going to be a lot uh, better once we start landing slows and getting our roots off on at least one person. One person getting rooted is going to be much better than uh, none, so see if it works out. Alton's back up soon. I am thinking of getting uh, CDR boots instead of the Merc Treads now because of the cooldown of um, RE being so long. Heal you back here. Get a Q heal. Nice, my E. Took the kill there. Big shutdown. I just walk through a trap without taking, getting uh, hit by it. Take this turret, can't we? We would have had this ten seconds sooner. I didn't think my E was going to kill that clone there, but I forgot that the clone's significantly weaker. We're a level down from the enemy's supports, but that's okay. We're going to need more CDR, so even the, the thought of Rylize might not be the best item, but it only gives health. We can go with Cosmic Drive, or something a little left that Horizon Focus. Our silence is now 10 seconds. I'm not going to go for that control ward myself. I'm going to drop a ward here and see if anybody comes to test that. To heal and protect. Uh, Caitlyn is bot. Shogath is top. Everything else is pretty dark right now. Gracefully. We're doing a total of 478 damage with our E. Hopefully we get mo like at least two rotations of that on a team fight. We 
can start putting points in our E because we um in our W just so we can heal our team a little bit better. Eight seconds to my ultimate. One thing about Shaco is that the boxes are annoying. Don't really like dealing with boxes, especially when I, it breaks my crown so quickly. For peace of mind. I guess we can pinch this. I'm just gonna hold. A fjord took a lot of damage right there as I ulted. with other people. A good silence there. Big silence. Get him, Twitch, get him! Aww. Nice. Yeah, never mind, do your thing, right? Where am I needed? Uh I don't know what I want to pick up. Rise and focus. I can go and get some wards around to Baron. And protect. But yeah, the Pantheon definitely wouldn't have been able to kill me if I had my crown up. And I was looking at my health whittled down, I was like, oh, if only my crown was up in that time. But it's okay. There's a lot of damage that they have going outwards, and we're just doing our best to position ourselves and help out our team. Help them out with a little bit of a nuke. There's a ward here. Every step, a new journey. I'm not gonna go for it. Oops, I did not mean to hit that. I hate when I'm off like screen, like not looking at the plant, and I click on it. Very annoying. Dogath is not here. We're just gonna hover. I think he's aiming to get my crown down. Run, Twitch, run! Oh, Yeah, that was a flash by the Cho'Gath. Which is very unfortunate there. Ooh, my ultimate reached the Fiora and helped. You can't do Baron without Twitch or Fiora. That doesn't do that much damage. The whole world has destroyed. Well, we did get a T2 bot side, which is just as important. We can work on mid, him and I. 
I have a good amount of uh, damage. 120 per hit. Nice. Back out now. Take what ult is down, but of course that's a very short cooldown. So, whatever. Why is he not going behind me? We are closer to our horizon focus. Enemies take 10% more damage uh, from us when we have them uh, put in the horizon focus. So that's going to be good against like Pantheon, maybe even Cho'Gath uh, if we impair them with Q. walk around this way. It's a long way, so I'm not within their line of sight. That's really unfortunate for Twitch. Ooh, nice. Got another kill. They really want me. Aye. I took too much damage there. I should have just like spaced out because this uh booty is not taking so much damage. But I got a lot of assists out of it. Man, what a champion. Oh, do we win here? Oh, close. Very close. Um, <laughs> EDR, CDR. We'll just pick up another Ruby Crystal. More health, the better. So at this point, we're not even um, doing more magic damage to the enemy team. We're just trying to stay alive. We do have our alternator or our uh, horizon focus. Uh oh, they found my ward. Run away! I'm super fast. 447 base movement speed. Hit the boots. there and then we'll drop a control word in this bush at least we have vision on where they are we know where they're going are you just gonna do this You don't even fucking need me. Oh, the waste of an, uh... Hmm. Good enough distraction, I think. We have three people at Baron right now. I really wonder, like, if people really genuinely enjoy playing Shaco, if they're just really mad in the head. 
If you guys in the comment section, let me know what you think about that. Gracefully. Thirty-five ability haste. So our ultimate is now at eighty-two seconds. Our E is at nine point four one four. Every step, a new journey. We really should just be putting pressure on them. Oh, Fiora's down there. Such hatred in their hearts. A ward over on this side, one over here. See the Shaco. The boxes are a pain. Oh, there's a fight happening. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna cross over and heal Zed as best as I can. Alright, that's it. That's the victory. Fun game. GG, well played. Let's take a look at our stats here. Great shot calling on the Udyr. He was absolutely nutty. A plus. 9,886 damage, so not the most. But we did uh, manage to stay alive a little bit uh, longer in the late game. Ally healing, 14,000, so not as much as we typically do. Taken, 1,500, self mitigated. We weren't taking that much damage. Oh, we were the ones doing magic damage to champions, though, because everyone else is AD, other than Udyr, obviously. But yeah, it's not, it's not, so this brown is not meant to do the most damage when we're playing Soraka support, right? It's meant to keep us alive and to be a target that isn't easy to shut down, but for the Pantheon of Shaco. And if you think about it, when you play and you have the enemy team seeing your items and they see a crown of the shattered queen, oh, well, if I jump on them, they're not going to get one shot. So is it worth when they're playing um, Eclipse and Black uh, Cleaver and then they've got someone else running at them? If they can't one shot me uh, in the middle of a team fight, Someone else is going to be going after them while I'll be able to turn the fight around at my own self-sustain, my silence. So it's not always about the action. It's not always about the damage. It's not always about the sustain. It's not always about the burst healing, but it's always about the psychological. It's sometimes, not always, but the psychological effect that you're putting on the enemy team. If I wasn't able to get the best performance out of it, but I was able to make myself put into a position where despite the fact that I had an ADC that was a little underwhelming. I was able to go around on the map and use my kit as best as possible to stop the enemy team from doing what they were doing. Even we even had one team fight where we had a double kill because we our E was able to manage. We were able to get a lot of damage out with our E. So, what it is. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. Much appreciate your time and company. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, 
Um, we would also appreciate a we, um, like, like there's other people here. I would also appreciate if you dropped a subscription to this uh, channel and you would come and see more content in the future. And if you have not checked out my channel, twitch.tv slash Dan underscore, that is where I stream typically at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or Daylight Time uh, at this current moment. And you'll be able to see me Monday through Friday and even Saturday. So I hope to see you guys for the next uh, video. Hopefully I'll see you in my stream and have a good rest of your week.